Morning 7 Action News. Always taking action for you. A video of a high school fight, quite frankly shocking. It shows how a violent frenzy between two students put administrators in harm's way as they tried to break it up. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig stayed by live in Livonia. And Kim, I was watching this video earlier today and it really started off with something pretty stupid. I mean, you talk about sheer nonsense. That's exactly what this was. They were bickering over who needed money, and then one student got up and attacked the other. <laughs> it's hard to believe how this fight started. Two teenagers bickering about who had to borrow a dollar. Then one got tired of just trash talking and went after the other teenager. They're two ninth graders, but in this cell phone video, you can see not even a couple of teachers and the principal could get them to stop fighting as a number of other Churchill High School students looked on. It was crazy. I just didn't know what to think. And two kids were arguing, and well, they got up and started fighting. Two of the teachers went after them, and one of the kids pushed pushed the teacher off and the other got punched in the face. What's scary is the sight of one of the staff members being knocked to the ground and hitting his head after one of the boys breaks free. And we're told it is the first time this school year in which the students would not stop fighting when adults intervene. And now these two freshmen who couldn't just walk away have put so much on the line. A spokesperson for Livonia Public Schools released this statement Friday that reads, we take these types of incidents very seriously. And thankfully, there were no reported injuries. Administration is reviewing the incident and is determining the appropriate disciplinary action that will be taken. <laughs> Both teenagers were arrested by Livonia police, but it's unclear if they'll be facing criminal charges. And while district officials say no injury reports were taken, they say one staff member was complaining about having a stiff neck. We'll certainly keep you updated on that, but I'm telling you, just complete nonsense when you look at that video. Back to you. Kim, is there any indication on whether these students will face criminal charges? You know, Heather, I've been calling uh, Livonia police all day today. We've left several messages. You would really think that at least one of them would because he was clearly the aggressor, in, uh, in the, the initial aggressor, let me say that. And then everything, it was just like the gloves were off after that and everything just completely unraveled. But you would at least think that at least against one student. But I've left several messages with the Livonia police. Still haven't heard back from them, but we'll let you know when we do. Back all to right. you.